Hi, Dad. This is a little weird for me because I don't usually talk to dead people. And I know you can't hear me, but I should get this off my chest. You know when little kids would think there was monsters under their bed or in their closet? Well, I thought there was a monster inside of you, Dad. You weren't as bad when you weren't drinking, but... As soon as I saw that bottle of Jack Daniels, or even Listerine, Dad, I tried to stay away from you as much as possible. Things were bad, Dad. And I'm pretty messed up because of the things you did to me. You know, when you came to me asking for a portion of my liver, after ruining my childhood, I was surprised. I thought you were too prideful. And to be honest, Dad, you really didn't have anything to live for. But what I really couldn't understand is that you were so shocked when I said no. You really thought I'd prolong your life by cutting short of my own? Dad, you tried to kill me. You tied me to a chair and you threw it in the pool. You didn't feed me, you hit me, you cut me, you locked me in a shed and you set it on fire. You left me with that creep man next door. And you knew what he was doing to me. You're my dad. You're supposed to protect me. But you failed, Dad. You didn't kill me. And so I let you die. <laughs> I guess I have a little blood on my hands, depending on the way you look at it. You jumped off a bridge, and I didn't save you. I guess what I came here to say, Dad, was that you're not winning. We're even. And I can't stand to see the look of me while you were sober. So I brought you a little present. Jack Daniels. See you in hell, Dad. <laughs>